All right, guys, good morning good from morning. the Cayman Islands, day yes. three on the Disney Magic. We're so excited. We're going to be filming mostly today on our phones and the GoPro just because it's easier to not have to bring this camera and it's also not waterproof. Yeah. So we're going to be doing a whole bunch of fun things because we're the first cruise ship allowed back in the Cayman Islands since 2020. We're so excited to take you along and show you what we've got to do. All right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I spot land in the far distance. Slowly getting there. Georgetown, Grand Cayman. So to get ready for the tender, we go into Animator's Palette and you wait in the line, scan your little Key to the World card, and then they will usher you along inside to a table where they will hold you until it's time for the tenders to start. We're waiting over here at this table. They told us to wear our masks in here, which is a little strange because it's just one of the restaurants, um, but that's fine. Um, they said we won't need one on the boat or the tender, but they also said that we'll be the first one out, which is good because our tour starts, or we have to meet our tour at 8.40, but we're not tendering until 8.30. So we're slightly stressed, but I think it's gonna be okay. She said it's only a five minute boat ride. We are the first group out. It's 15 minutes early, so we're good to go. We are being ushered through the ship. I think he said we're going to the aft gangway. So they're just bringing us there all as a group so nobody gets lost. All right, we're getting on the tender. It's actually bigger than I thought. And we should be good to go. The tender's very rocky and bouncy. So if you get motion sick, definitely take necessary precautions. I'm thankful that we took a lot preventatively. First cruise ship back, first tender. We're so excited. Let's go. All right, it was about five minutes. We're getting off onto the Cayman Islands. There's our ship over there. On Cayman Island soil. Woohoo! <laughs> We're excited to be here. Here's Disney people here to greet us. Before us. Just there, they have to be here before us. <laughs> Hello. Woo! This is gonna be such a good day. I already know it. They have some dancers over here. Look at that. Okay, right. folks, once I leave the dock, we can get about seven or eight people up on the top up here, okay? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're about to go. Very stressed. We're going in.
happy. I think we're already going back. I told Brandon not to come out, but I don't think I've never seen so many fish. We're at Stingray City. We left Coral Gardens. Well, Brandon wasn't able to get in, but Stingray City should be ahead. We're in the water. Brandon made it. Very big. The GoPro under. Brandon's getting a little back massage. It's a little bit hectic over here, but we're doing our best. There's so many people. has just been waiting to get pictures with the ray which I don't love so now I'm standing away from the group to see if the rays will come to me and hang out. Right. Squid food. Okay guys let's make our way on board please. We're gonna feed the ray. The, the bird. <laughs> Brandon's feeding the ray. The bird stole mine. Did you have fun? I got to swim with rays. Good. Since I didn't get to do the original snorkeling, I'm glad I got to at least do a short snorkel with the uh, the stingray. Right. They were huge fish too. Did you enjoy it? I did. Good. We made it to Starfish Point. I'm excited to look at some starfish. Ian's going in. It's cold. Kind of starfish already. On the top of their head, they have almost a perfect circle. We like to call that their crown. In the middle of their crown, they have a blow hole. That's how they breathe, okay? On the tip of each one of their fingers, they have a red dot. That red dot is their eye. That's how they see. When you turn them upside down, you're going to see five rows of teeth going from each finger in the middle, joined to the center. Those are not for biting, chewing, anything, nothing like that. It's only for protection purposes for their tube feet. Their tube feet is made up of tentacles with suction cups on the ends of each single one of them. They use that to graze, eat, and to move, okay? It's really nice out here. The water's very blue. The sand is really white and powdery. It's very, very nice. And there are lots of boats here. This is a very popular spot to go. We came over here because nobody else is over here. Everybody else is over this way. But I don't think there are any fish of the star variety over here that we can see anyway. Driftwood. What a beautiful little place. It's so nice over here. It's like so quiet. Feels like your own little private area. I like it a lot. I really like these island vibes. I could definitely dig living on an island long term, but I know the expenses get real high real fast, but it's just so beautiful. So nice. I feel tempted to explore down this path. I think it's a pretty small area, but we only have 15 minutes or so here, he said. So I want to make sure I have time to look for some starfish. So beautiful. If I remember correctly, starfish. Oh, I see. I'm going to go look at the camera. Yeah, I remember that they used to hang over here. She took our starfish. <laughs> but that's OK. We got a picture with them. Let's look for some more. Bus to go back to the terminal, and they're really packing us in here. 
We're in the very back. Hopefully it's a quick ride. We're going into this Diamonds International because this is where they should have a charm for a bracelet that you can get for free. We are in a store now. It is a um, little souvenir shopping. I think it's called Latitude 19. Got a lot of stuff going on in here. I really needed a postcard, but we'll see what else they have over here. We like these little stingray guys. They're so cute. We're also looking for an ornament, but these aren't really the ones that we're looking for. Hopefully we can find one. Welcome back. That's so cute. Inside all of these gift shops, we have Fort George. This is Georgetown. Very cool. So they have replica cannons. They also have all kinds of information about it. It's very cool. We're heading back to the terminal. We're just looking for an ornament. We still haven't found one yet. I got my cotton candy and our drinks, which we found out has sour orange and brown sugar in it, and they're very, very good. But I love me some cotton candy. Some flavored water. Pineapple, yum. Thank you. They have ice water, orange water, pineapple water, and lemon water. Yes. We are back in the room. What did you think about today? I thought it was really fun. I really enjoyed all the different stops we did. I do wish we had more time at each of the stops, especially Singray City. I felt like most of the time we were just waiting to get our picture taken, like to get, well, not exactly our picture taken, but to get like the interaction with the Stingray, which also was where we got our picture taken. And then by the time that was done, we just had to get back on and leave. So I felt like um, I wish it was longer. I understand they have to keep it short in case things go wrong because of the cruise ships and they have to travel distances to get from one place to the other, but I do wish we had some more time. Yeah, um, I did think that the overall, the, the tour was great, the excursion was good. Um, it was a little rushed at each stop. We, yeah. we got, I don't know. 25, 25, and 15. Yeah, so I, I do wish that each stop was a bit longer but you know there's nothing that we could do the first stop i i just wasn't able to do so unfortunately i'm not a great swimmer so with that you know i wasn't able to go into the water they did, they did have life jackets i want to make sure that that's super clear they did have life jackets and he could have gotten in the water but you just were not comfortable getting in the water. Well, I mean, I, I just don't think that someone who's not a a good swimmer would have been doing well in, in, even, in that. Even good swimmers were struggling in that water. It yeah. Was, it was tough. Yeah, so a lot of adults were struggling, and the adults were also worried about their kids. Yeah. Uh, you said you were struggling a bit, too, um, you know, because the water was so choppy and wavy. Yeah, if I did, I usually wouldn't snorkel with, the life vest but i saw the water and it looked rough so i said why don't you just give it to me it'll make things easier and i'm so thankful that i had it so um especially since you do didn't go in the water you should never go in the water by yourself so i'm really glad that i had that 
to help me. Yeah. Overall, I thought it was a, a good experience. I really did enjoy the Cayman Islands. They were so beautiful. Uh, again, really honored to be back on the first cruise ship yeah. back in the Cayman Islands. So that was really awesome. And I'm really looking forward to doing more um, trips here. Yeah, I would like to come and stay here in the Cayman Islands for a long time. I did it a few years back and it was one of my favorite trips I've ever been on. There's so many cool things to do, little tucked away hidden excursions and things in the Cayman Islands. So I would love to do that again. All right, guys, with that, hope you enjoyed. Uh, and let us know in the comments down below, have you ever been to the Cayman Islands? What do you enjoy doing here? Yeah, what's your favorite thing here? Yeah. Let us know. All right, so definitely hit that subscribe button because we got a lot more Disney Cruise coming along for you guys, right? Yes, for sure. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to follow along on all of our journeys. And Disney Cruise Line videos. And until the next video. Bye.